In the beginning of 2021, Buzzsprout rolled out a new feature called Dynamic Content, which allows you to add a pre-roll or a post-roll to your podcast episodes dynamically and then take it down when you no longer want it to be there. And it's a feature that we rolled out as a free upgrade to every single one of our plans. Well, in this episode, I'm gonna tell you about two new features that take dynamic content to a whole nother level. The first new feature that we wanna tell you about is called dynamic descriptions. So when we initially rolled out dynamic content, you could add an audio file either to the beginning or the end of your podcast episodes, but that was it. You couldn't add any text in a dynamic fashion. You'd have to go in and manually update every single show note that you wanted to update to include all the new information. With dynamic descriptions, you no longer have to do that. When you upload an audio file as a pre-roll or a post-roll, you now have the option to add dynamic text. When you click the link below the audio file, a text box will pop up, allowing you to write whatever you would like to write. You can include links, you can include descriptions, anything that you want here in this box, and then save it. And then every single episode that that dynamic content is applied to will also get that dynamic description added to the bottom of your episode's show notes. So it won't break any formatting in your show notes and will allow you to put up and take down dynamic descriptions at will. So now let's talk about three different ways that you can use dynamic descriptions for your podcast. The first way is probably the thing that you thought of when you heard of dynamic content, which is podcast ads. So if you have a podcast sponsorship or you're promoting an affiliate program, you can very easily add both the pre-roll or post-roll audio content, but now you can even add your affiliate link or any text that helps to describe that product to your podcast listeners to help them take action. Another really creative way that you can use dynamic descriptions is by giving shout outs to your patrons or individual listeners. And then in the future, you can replace that audio file and that dynamic description with something different. And then the third use case is if you wanna promote something that is time sensitive, whether that's an event or you have an online business and you're running a webinar in the upcoming week, you can let people know about the upcoming event have your dynamic description, describe what that event is and link out to a website where people can learn more. And then when that time has passed, you can easily take that down and it's no longer a part of your podcast episodes. The second new feature that takes dynamic content up a notch is the episode selector. So when we first rolled it out, it was pretty simple. You could either add dynamic content to the episode you're working on in the moment and all your future episodes or apply it to your entire back catalog. Well, with the episode selector, you can manually choose which episodes you do and don't want that dynamic content added to. So if you don't wanna put a audio pre-roll in front of your trailer introducing your show to new listeners, you don't have to. And you can still apply the dynamic content to all of your other episodes. And the cool thing about the episode selector is once you've identified that you do or do not want dynamic content added to that episode, Buzzsprout will remember that. And so the next time you add an episode or update your dynamic content and replace all of your pre-rolls or all of your post-rolls, Buzzsprout will remember exactly which episodes to apply the dynamic content to. So you don't have to go back and select and deselect each episode every time you wanna change out your content. We hope you enjoy these new features in your Buzzsprout account, and we can't wait to share with you all the incredible features that we're working on very soon. Thanks for listening to Podcasting Q&A. If you have a question that you would like us to answer on a future episode of the show, just go to speakpipe.com slash buzzsprout or click the link in the show notes to leave us a brief audio message. Make sure you're subscribed to the Buzzsprout YouTube channel to watch future episodes of Podcasting Q&A or subscribe to the podcast in your favorite podcast listening app. That's it for today. Thanks for listening. And as always, keep podcasting.